Could you tell a few words about your research, please? Yeah, sure. So I'm an ethnographer. It means uh, I work with people and I try to understand how they perceive reality. And my research is about how people experience an embodied climate change. What it, and I took a heat as an example of climate change uh, because it's proven by climatologists that climate change causes overheating, especially in the cities. And why do you think that we as a society people should be so focused on climate change? Well, well, uh, it touches all of us and it's a fact it's going to be a bigger and a bigger problem. So we should just acknowledge it will um, touch us and our bodies and it's already touching our bodies in the cities. And that's our research was about. We, sh we showed how people how people's lives are changed by heat, and how their health is changed by heat, how their daily routines is changed by heat. So, uh, so it's already happening, even though we may not expect that in northern, eastern Europe and Warsaw, but our research showed it is already happening and it causes pain, loneliness, health issues, uh, social problems, uh, inequalities, it's, it's already here. And in what ways do you see it is a good idea to spread awareness about this? Well, we're looking for ways of spreading the awareness. Of course, we publish scientific papers, but we also go to the press, the media, we try to reach as many people as possible. And also we hope to gain some artistic and programmer attention and uh, that's why we uh, approached uh, the King Gem lab. That's interesting and that's a very different approach to the whole problem. It's more casual and I think it can engage more people because it is. Work. Yeah, I'm super, super interested how it's going to work out. Uh, I've never done that before so looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Could you please tell a few words about what a Game Gem is? All right. Well, Game Jam was, I think, as far as I know, originally um, designed by tech companies to keep their employees engaged in providing innovative product solutions, certain things. So before Game Jams actually existed, there were hackathons. Hackathons still exist. It's basically creating um, software within a limited time frame, like 48 hours. And this... Um, well, this activity kind of creeped out of the corporate sphere and has become like an event activity happening. Um, well, basically organized by cultural institutions, organized by, by universities. So there's on one hand this aspect of fun and engaging um, students or employees, but also at the same time having the possibility to learn how to create games or software within limited time frame and rough deadlines and at the end of the game jam or hackathon coming out with a working prototype. So basically coming in with a big idea at the beginning and scoping it down into an executable prototype. So this is kind of like what a game jam is essentially. Mm -hmm. And these things have been done more recently also at universities to help yeah. students learn about video games. It sounds like a great way to learn. And uh, because the game jam that is going to be happening is on a theme of climate change. Why do you think it is a fun way to thematize climate change in the form of a game jam? Mm -hmm. So the thing about a game jam, what makes it really efficient in dealing with the topic is that you will have people who engage, let's say, in 48 hours or 72 hours with a topic with, well, being almost intimate with the topic. So in a game jam, usually you have a theme. In case of our game jam, we'll have the theme of climate change. So students do not just create a game or a learning experience, but they also create a game that is related to the topic that is chosen by the organizers. Here we will have climate change. So they will not just learn how to develop and design a game, but they will also learn about the topic since they got to research it in order to operationalize it within their game design. Thank you. How did the idea of the project came to be? Uh, I was approached by Zosha Pienkowska uh, with her research on embodying climate change. I work here at PJIT. 
and immediately looking at her research and trying to understand how we could kind of um, bring it to a wider public, uh, I suddenly immediately thought of like new media arts and then the new mm. media arts department. And my initial thought was video mapping and video mapping inside of the space. Uh, but then I was talking to um, Eva Sateletska, the dean, and she pinged out an email and Benjamin uh, replied immediately. And I thought, yeah, Game Lab, embodied climate research, perfect. And how do you see this collaboration, climate change uh, research and new media arts department, how do you see it working out together? Uh, I think it can be um, a really great collaboration. I mean, of course, there is a slight tension with something like New Media Arts, which is probably not the most green of artistic practices, and something to do with climate change and the climate catastrophe. So there's a little bit of a tension there, I think, from a kind of curatorial perspective. Um, but in terms of, uh, you know, engaging people, the tools that New Media Arts designers, artists, students, you know, whomever have, are incredible to be able to um, bring people into a narrative. And uh, since the main part of a project is a game jam, what is the plan for it to go and where for it to go after the game jam happens? So after the game jam, four games will be selected, uh, three by uh, Benjamin, Zosha and I, and then one will be uh, community uh, voted. And these four games will be presented at Oshrodek Kulture Ochota in Ochota. Um, uh, together with uh, an exhibition with uh, one uh, external ecological researcher and one uh, performer uh, because the reason we wanted to do that in the exhibition is to have like a kind of multi-disciplinary uh, approach and also just to be able to reflect on the games themselves because the games aren't the end in themselves they're a way of communicating but you, but we're talking about something like the climate catastrophe, so you can't simply make a game. Absolutely, yeah. something systemic. So we wanted to bring in as many people uh, as possible. Thank you very much. We're really looking forward to seeing participate in the project. Yeah, good. I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens. Thank you. Thank you.